It was a really hard time in my life. I was at the peak of my career as far as a rapper, a Christian rapper, when my last album dropped in 2010. So you're talking 11 years ago, I was at the height of my career as a Christian rapper. And I was touring all over the place and, you know, doing well. But my life as a whole was going under. My marriage was falling apart. Um, you know, my relationship with God wasn't where it's supposed to be. And I was just totally just into the rapping and the entertainment part of Christian hip hop. Within that time, I wound up going through a divorce. I wound up hitting rock bottom. So as much as I thought things were going well for me, as far as my career is concerned, my spiritual walk was suffering. And within that time, God picked me up from the ground when I hit it and he rebuilt me. Rebuilt is the death of Gage and the rebirth of David Vera. What I would hope, especially for Rebuilt to be, is to be one of those albums that someone who's sitting in a dark place right now and they don't see an outcoming, they could actually hear a record like, um, you know, in between, and you know, it would totally give them hope and know that they could keep going and things will change in their life. Um, I have a lot of great features on this album. I have Mike O on the album. I also have, um, you know, um, Marcus Aaron on the album. I have Lee Majors on the album. Um, I have um, Yankee B on the album. We have some great features on the album. We have some great producers on the album. We got, you know, Ray Rock on the album. We got Christopher Thompson, who's actually the executive producer of the album. Um, we got some, you know, big fills on the album. So we got some great features. We got some great, you know, music. And, you know, it's just really me being able to show David Vera for who he really is. Purchase your tracks today. It was hard, like, you know, getting everything to line up the way I wanted it to. You know, I was dealing with insecurities. I was dealing with, you know, me being in this, you know, Christian rap for so long that I was feeling like, you know, was I still relevant? I was dealing with me, my ability to be relevant with all the great rappers that's out here today. I was trying to entertain and say if I could be able to drop bars that everyone is dropping when I really knew that that just wasn't my lane. You know what I mean? I know my lane was to minister and to just, you know, do records that's going to, you know, touch people's hearts and, and change their hearts to Jesus. So, you know, I was battling a lot of different, you know, emotions about whether people would really even take the time out to listen to me now with, you know, with me being older and, you know, so much great talent that's coming out into the Christian hip hop world right now. I was dealing with me and my wife going back and forth with a lot of different things. David would come to me and say, babe, I got this video vision and um, I see it and it's dope and then he'll present it to me and I'm like yeah it's dope you know let's do it and then he'll go and ask people and different opinions and he kind of gets shut down like his vision gets shut down and it can discourage to me I feel it discourages an artist um, especially when God gives you a vision and you just have to so many people um, giving their opinions on it. Um, it can discourage someone and I've witnessed that with David um, at times. Him showing me his vulnerability and, and just feeling discouraged at times because, you know, things weren't fa falling into place and him telling me, well, babe, you know, maybe I should just give up maybe I should just you know do something else maybe I should just throw in the towel and those are the things that frustrated me throughout the album because there are days when an artist you know they go through discouragement because um, I believe that every artist has deals with um, insecurity she felt particular songs were you know that she liked and songs that I liked and we were going back and forth with that and you know dealing with Christopher Thompson too is him you know he has his own talents and he wanted me to be a particular way that I wasn't really comfortable with being and I had to just you know really fight through it and, and be somebody that I really wasn't at the time but it was definitely helping me to grow as a minister as an artist as a rapper so Rebuilt wasn't easy putting together but 
this definitely was worth the journey. This album itself was just me witnessing those different stages and having to deal with the things that come along with creating an album. Um, that's something I've never experienced before, um, but I experienced it with him and I give him much credit. Just even sticking it through and finishing it through the end. It's amazing, it was amazing to watch. This is David Vera and my new album is coming, Rebuilt. Today.